Hi all. I wanted to show you these locks. Uh, I've been looking all over for uh, a Ford lock set at a decent price. And uh, I found these at Walmart. Yeah. I checked all over the web, checked a few different brands. And uh, I just wanted a simple key lock for my gym locker. The reason I wanted four is because when I go to the gym, I usually use two lockers. My gym bag's kind of big, got shoes and things like that in one, and then the stuff I'm using in the other one. So I, I use two locks when I go. Okay, so these are Brinks, solid brass body. They got keys. Uh, I prefer the keys because you don't have to fill around trying to see the combination. Uh, 2,400 pounds, high security, weather resistant. One and nine sixteenth solid brass body so I think what they're talking about is here it's one and nine sixteenths wide twenty four hundred pounds you know if you're gonna cut it with a cutter uh, if you got a bolt cutter it usually goes through locks pretty easy I had trouble with the chain a few years ago and I use a bolt cutter uh, on it and it cuts through it pretty easy so uh, fell at the hardware store said that a hacksaw will go through them too not not this specific brand but he said in general he said it just takes a while four pins inside here 1400 pounds on here I'm sure you've seen videos where they smack them open with a hammer. So I think that's what they're talking about here. 1,400 pounds with a crowbar. Four locks key to like. Uses M1 key blank. VR7, VR91AR. So it's nice to have a common key. Because then you can get them made at uh, Walmart and you don't, you don't have to pay a small fortune for your keys. Okay, so for me, the reason why I wanted four is when I go to the gym, I use two lockers. Uh, my gym bag's kind of big. So I got one locker with my gym bag and my shoes and the other locker with the stuff that I'm using. And I have two gym bags, one in the truck, one in the car. So I don't have to switch them back and forth. Okay. So let's check these out. Okay, so I just thought this would make a good video because uh, I looked all over, priced them, and you know, there's definitely better locks. But uh, for a gym locker, these are fine. So, what I'll probably do is uh, I paint them paint the lock 
and the key the same color. I've got plenty of locks around the house and the yard, so it's hard to keep track of all the colors. But, uh, you know, it's a starting point. Okay. Okay, so what I did to paint them was uh, I made this little block of wood a while back. The keys go deep down inside so the paint doesn't get on the actual key itself. And then uh, it just goes in my vise. Scuffed them up with a little sandpaper, then sprayed them with some primer. And then I think I'm going to paint these white. So instead of painting the locks, you know, this is just for inside use for the gym. I just use some grilled tape, put a piece on there, cut around the edges with a sharp pair of scissors. And then I'm going to put my initials here. When you go to the gym, <clears throat> when you go to the gym, everyone's got the same lock, and it's hard to determine which one's yours, you know. So this way, I'll be able to tell, you know. So uh, I thought I'd just show you how to do one. Just take a piece of grill tape here. I got the lock facing that way, so it pops open on this side. And then, be sure and use a sharp pair of scissors. Just cut down the edge. That way, that way you get a nice clean cut. Not that it matters, but you don't want to... You don't want it to look too sloppy. Okay, don't touch the marker until it dries. Show smudge. Okay, see ya.